Red tide is still lingering off part of the Gulf Coast with elevated levels detected from southern Pinellas County all the way down to Collier County in southwest Florida. This toxic algae, as you know, impacts several sectors of our economy. Shellfish harvesters, shellfish farmers, for example, can lose an entire harvest when red tide appears. And in past years, it's even forced some of them to shut down their operation. But Moat Marine Lab in Sarasota is working on a solution, a self-tester to help shellfish farmers monitor the red tide levels in their harvest. As Fox 13's Kimberly Quizon tells us, people in this industry are calling this a possible game changer. If they have to shut down, that's their source of income. When red tide moves in, shellfish farmers are forced to shut down, never knowing for how long. They're shut down for months, and unfortunately, a lot of these small uh, farmers have just quit. At Moat Marine Laboratory, scientists like Dr. Dana Wetzel are working on technology that can keep shellfish farmers in business. They're developing a field tester called a biosensor. It allows shellfish farmers to test their harvests for red tide toxins. What we're trying to do is to provide the farmers a mechanism so that they are able to self-monitor their levels. If the test result shows their harvest is safe and FWC confirms it, the farmers would be able to reopen. They can actually harvest. They can actually provide money to support their families. What they're doing is helping us. It's also helping the consumer in the end. Tom McCrudden is the president of Great Florida Shellfish Company based out of Stewart. 15 years ago, he watched as nearly 50 farmers pulled out of Pine Island Sound after Red Tide closed harvests down for eight months. We are just overwhelmed on the technology and the, and the research and hard work they've done. They're also working on uptake and discharge to be able to purge that toxin out. Shellfish farmers say this is a game changer for the industry and their future. Some of the other farmers may be able to come back. And Mo Marine says this research would not have been possible without funding from the state of Florida, NOAA, the USDA, and the FWC. In Sarasota, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. Now, that technology has taken about two years to develop, and right now, Moat is testing a prototype for all red tide toxins.